Hey guys, HTV here, and welcome back to a brand new video going over the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra, the new DLC for Pokemon Sword and Shield coming out this year. Today, we have two different rumors to go over. One going over some new Galarian forms with pictures this time. We've got a little bit of evidence. Not only that, we got another rumor going over story details, legendaries, the whole shebang. So if you're excited for the video, drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 600 likes. Leave a comment. What new Galarian forms would you love to see in the DLC? And of course, subscribe if you're brand new. We do daily Pokemon content on this year's channel. With all of that out of the way, though, let's get into the video. And I really hope that you enjoy. So starting things off, we have this image here of a potential Galarian Shroomish. So this is, of course, the Pokedex entry for it. it says number battled five. So it's obviously a wild encounter that you can find at some point. Um, and yeah, it is a grass poison type Pokemon. So this is what it apparently looks like. It's uh, a Shroomish with these weird purpley kind of... I don't even know what they are. Like just circular things on it um but the the thing for me is why is shroomish's body blurry and then these circular things are all like really like hd quality kind of thing it to me it just doesn't really go together i don't know it, it to, I, I don't think this is true i'm just gonna throw that out there i don't think it's true um a galarian shroomish and balloon line could be a thing we have seen pictures and stuff of you know um uh, artwork for galarian balloon like uh sketches and stuff of it and it has popped up a few times in different rumors uh, so you never know uh it would be a really cool pokemon to get a galarian form obviously it's not in the sword and shield pokedex at the moment so could easily be introduced with a new form uh, but yeah this uh shroomish it says this pokemon protects itself by poisoning its predators and causing them to feel very dizzy so it has a chance to escape so you know the kind of both basic pokedex entry you'd expect um but it also says it's number 59 as well so i'm guessing that um when we get the sword and shield pokedex it's going to be a separate one if this is true I, I, again i don't think it is but if we get the sword and shield pokedex in the isle of armor according to this it would be a completely different pokedex it's not something that would add on to the sword and shield pokedex it would just be its own kind of thing and it would be number 59 so um i don't know what, what do you think about this image i don't think it's true um the the image just looks out of I don't know. It just like why is the body blurry? I don't know. It would be cool. I would love a Galarian uh, Shroomish and Balloon, but the body to me, a little bit too blurry. Um, next up, though, we do have another um, Galarian form, and this is Dustox. Now, again, Dustox is a Pokemon that's been thrown around left, right, and center mainly because of Clara's. Um, kind of bow thing at the top of her hair it has the same pattern as uh dustox's wings so a lot of people do think we are going to get a poison type galarian dustox uh now uh this image popped up uh not all the stuff in photoshop but just the image of the uh of the box popped up on 4 channel or something and i i was going to cover this but then the actual artist came out and said look it's fake but i'm just covering it just to let you guys know it's fake um so yeah this thing basically popped up uh we had dragonite there which obviously isn't in the game we have uh kubfu and the bottom of the party we have pincer which is also not in the game and then we also have uh there was one more that i saw that where is it i don't know um I don't know. It's gone somewhere. There was another Pokemon. Is it Golduck? It might be Golduck. Uh, but then obviously we have the Galarian Dustox there, level 65. Uh, the image of it looks a lot bigger than the rest of the box. And then obviously this was the Pokemon on the side. But the artist came out. Uh, oh yeah, we had Galarian Slowbro down there as well. And Venusaur and, and stuff like that. But uh, well, we already have Venusaur. But you know what I mean. So uh, yeah, this is basically just a person uh, coming out clean and saying, look, I made it. Just uh, I've had a lot of people on stream coming up to me and say, oh, have you seen the new Galarian Dustox? It's not true. Uh, the artist came out and said it's not true. Uh, there it is. So. Uh, uh, yeah, it looked really cool. Like, I love the design of it. And they did a really good job with, like, the uh, sprites and stuff for Galarian Dustox, um, Kubfu, and Galarian Slowbro. But it's fake, so we can put that to bed. Uh, but let's go on to the rumor. Um, the main part of today's video is says, Spoilers, more Pokemon Sword and Shield EX uh, past details by Anonymous. And this came out on Tuesday, the 14th of April. So it says, I saw some of the things from the expansion pass before the quarantine started but I wasn't sure if I should post it or not before. I'll start with the first part of the EX Pass. Um, now, I'm pretty sure Game Freak said that they started quarantining um, pretty early on, I think. I know that one of the employees has just uh, uh, been confirmed to have the virus, so I hope they make a speedy recovery. Um, but they did quarantine um, pretty early, and this person uh, at Game Freak, um, uh, I think they, they, when they started quarantining a few days uh 
later, I think he was po like tested positive for the virus. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. But um, uh, yeah, hopefully he makes a speedy recovery. And, uh, you know, I wish him all well and stuff. But uh, yeah, this person's basically saying that they got this information before the quarantine started. It says there are no new Pokemon other than Kubfu and Urshifu. So this is for the Isle of Armor part, by the way. This second part's for the Crown Tundra. So straight off the bat, don't be like, what about Calyrex? That's on the second part. And then it says there will be no new, uh, no more new Gigantamax forms other than the ones shown. So I'm, uh, that's the starters, uh, Venusaur, Blastoise, um... Obviously, uh, Cinderace, Rillaboom, uh, Inteleon, and then obviously um, the Legendaries as well. Uh, but we'll get some new Galarian forms. I definitely think we're going to get some new Galarian forms. I mean, we already do have Slowpoke, and we know we're getting Slowbro and Slow King, but I, I can't see them being the only... And obviously, the Legendary Birds can't see them being the only Galarian forms we're going to get in two pieces of DLC. So then it says Galarian, Dustox, and Butterfly. Dustox will be a Fairy Poison type and will resemble Clara's Bowtie, exactly what I just went over before. Butterfly will be Psychic Flying type and will be mostly Black and why it would make sense to me to give dust docks to clara and then beautifly to avery that to me that is just what they should do um but the main story revolves around evolving kupfu uh, but there'll be a side quest with clava and avery which will re reward you i can't speak properly today with an item to evolve galarian slowpoke when completed um you do need an item we know that you do need an item to evolve slowpoke into slow bro and slow king you get the item for slow bro in the isle of arm you get the item for slow king in the crown tundra then it says Galarian Slowbro is a psychic poison type Pokemon. It has purple, it has a purple forehead and a tip of tail. Cloyster is attached to its arm, not the tail. It can be used, uh, that should be Shelder, not Cloyster. Uh, it can use the uh, Shelder as a lance. Um, I don't think so. Let's go back to this image. Now, of course, this image, uh, not all of this was shown. It was just like this bit with the arm on the right. So, you know, the other arm hasn't been shown. So technically it could, which would be kind of crazy. I'd love to see that, but I, I don't know about that. Uh, but then it says there is a second smaller side story which allows you to get own tempo Rockruff. There will be a way to get another Kubfu which you can evolve into the second form of Urshifu. I don't think that's going to be um, true. I don't think they're going to give us two Kubfus to get both forms. I think it's just going to be like the starters, you know, where you have to choose one of the start um, and then obviously trade for the other one or something. Now we're going on to the Crown Tundra. Now the second part of the expansion. The person who you work with in this story is Chairman Rose's brother, Bernard Rose. Bernard or Bernard, I don't know, something Rose. Main story revolves around finding Calyrex and awakening it. I still think that there's something left of Calyrex that we don't know about yet. I think it's going to have like another form or an evolution or something like that. I don't know. It's just Calyrex to me just doesn't look like a legendary. It... And I know you could at the same time be like, what about the late guardians? You know, that it kind of looks similar to those in, in like the size and, and stuff like that. But I don't know. Calyrex, I feel it's got that massive bulb on its head, man. Something's coming out of that, I tell you now. Something is coming out of that. Uh, but then it says uh, two other new legendary Pokemon are called Reggie Electric and Reggie Drake. Obviously, you know, being the two new Reggies. Already know about that. They were human made golems which were supposed to fight enraged Reggie Rock, Reggie Steel, and Reg Ice. Instead, they turned against humans, and Calyrex has to put them all to sleep. I thought Reggie Gigas. No, never mind. I'm an idiot. Uh, the first side story is about catching the Reggies, but you can't complete it before catching Calyrex. So you have to catch Calyrex and then. You can go catch the Reggies, right? Okay. And the, it says the second side story can be accessible anytime. It revolves around the Gigantamax tree. Uh, the big red tree in the middle of the tundra. There are three birds, Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres protecting it. Uh, Eternus's energy changed their appearance, but they're not Gigantamax forms. Uh, but they're not Gigantamax forms. We know they're not Gigantamax forms. Well, we don't know they're not getting a Gigantamax form, but I, I don't know if that person meant to put Galarian forms there. I don't know. Because we know that they're Galarian forms. I can't share any more info, so I won't be answering the questions. I hope everyone is understandable. English isn't my native language. Just say English isn't the native language. I'm going to be smashed it, to be fair. Um, yeah, I don't know how to feel about this rumor. I don't know. It goes into a little bit of in-depth information about the two um, the two pieces of DLC. I don't think we're going to get two Cub Foos. I just I can't see that being a thing. Um, Reggie Steeler and Reggie... Uh, I mean, Reggie Electric and Reggie Drake being human-made. I don't think that's true. They don't look human-made um, to me. When you think of a Pokemon that's human-made, you'd think of something like Meganer, which was human-made, or Genesect, which was human-made, you know. They're usually Steel-type when they're human-made because they're made with steel. So um, we already have a Steel-type Reggie, so I, I, I highly doubt we're going to get another one. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't, maybe not. I don't think it is. Um, but again, this is a discussion video. You guys will have to let me know in the comment section down below. So what do you think about this rumor? Do you think it's true? Um, I don't know. Again, the Isle of Armor is coming out. 
very soon, you know, April's gone like that, mate, honestly, insane. March took forever, April is shot by ridiculously fast. So then it's going to be May next month, obviously, and then we can start saying the Isle of Armour's coming out next month. Uh, we still don't have a release date, you know, we just know it's sometime in June. It could get pushed back, you know, still think about that, you know, a lot of things are lately, so um, if, if it does get pushed back, you know, don't get angry at Nintendo and, and, and Game Freak, it's not their fault, um, obviously. But uh, it is just one of those things. Again, hope the um, the employee that has got the virus makes a speedy recovery. Um, I'm sure he will. I'm sure he'll fight it and uh, smash it and get better very, very soon. Uh, what do you think about the Galarian forms? I mean, obviously, this is fake. We know about this. Uh, did you see this before the video, though? Because I don't know. Like A lot of people have come to me about it, but you know, I only ever saw it when people came to me about it. And then uh, we have the Galarian Shroomish. What do you think about this? I don't think this is true, but it is what it is. That's everything for the video, though. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop a like, leave a comment, uh, and subscribe if you're brand new. That's everything from me. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and until next time, peace.